Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ready Designer One channel and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the Linear websites. So what is Linear? So Linear is a tool for planning and building products for modern software development. So if you ever used a issue tracking tool, for example Jira, just think of this tool as next level. And why have I chosen to review Linear? So if you haven't noticed that Linear is one of the websites that started the trends for dark minimal websites. And this is mainly for SaaS products. And also they, they were known for having the purple CTA as well. So you've probably seen that a lot, the dark and the purple CTA. However, with their recent design update, I think it will be nice to go through some of the subtle changes that they've done. So let me just refresh this. So you can see the subtle effect on the text, but another thing is the product shot. You can see they got a very nice 3D style animation and they got a zoomed in um, version. So they're highlighting the product in a zoom in detail view. So I think that is really nice. And they're going for a really classic look where they have the dark and light color scheme. So no more purple CTAs. You can see there's a very subtle uh, gradient on the second CTA. Another thing to note is the nav where here you can see the drop down nav is really nice in that you have this um, blurred background. But one thing that I'd like to get your thoughts on in the comments is they don't have a chevron or an icon indicating there's a drop down. So for example, if I go to these, there is no drop down. However, this one has a drop down, this one doesn't. So I'm wondering, what do you think about that choice of not having an icon to indicate that there's a drop down? Another thing I really like is the use of a keyboard shortcut so if i hit k oh sorry l <laughs> why did i say k and here you can log into the app so let me just go back so again that really nice introduction of the ui so did oh that is really nice again so rather than show um so many uh, logos of the startups or enterprises that they work with they're just changing it, it feels like a, a very nice subtle animation again and here when you hover you have got a nice blur effect I think that's really nice so another thing that I like to talk about is these type of sections where they have the heading on the left the paragraph text on the right and that's using utilizing space really well where sometimes you get a really big heading here and then you have the text stacked underneath. So here they're really using the space nicely. Another thing to notice is the subtleness of the images. So as you hover, you then get the opacity. I'm assuming the opacity is one, whereas by default, they might be 0.8 or 0.5. So again, they're not trying to overpower you with graphics and it's very subtle but then when you hover, you get it in focus. So let me just click that. <laughs> so I believe this is using frame of motion and this is just insane again, where it just zooms in to this piece, which I think is really nice. If I hit escape key, that takes me out. So if you want more information, you click. And I think again, this is just so nice. So another thing to point out is when you're showcasing images, again, with them, they are zooming right in to the detail of the product UI and they're showcasing it in a 3D style. So just something to note. And here they got like a bento style, uh, even though they're not boxed into any cards, which I think is really nice as well. Again, they're using the space nicely. Let's just go here. 
and this is a nice way of showcasing some features. Another tiny thing that I think is really nice is the use of an icon and then the text on the right because sometimes what you see is these two stacked so that this becomes more a bit more the height becomes taller so again they're using the space really really nicely another thing they've done is they've raised this piece of UI um, on top of the others so it gives it gives the more depth more layering to the product UI which I think is again really nice again they're highlighting some of the app UI which is really rich in terms of the graphics so I really love the you can see the graphic here is just so subtle because I've noticed that some some users their eyes are very sensitive to dark and light so again they go, they're having the really the secondary text is all all of it is not solid uh, white they have a very subtle gray on this on the text and then lastly the CTA which I think again it's not too overkill they're not they're not putting anything fancy in the CTA they just got a really nice subtle gradient I believe on here just to make these I know everyone doesn't like the word pop but here it does um, stand out a bit and if you stay to the end of the video one thing I wanted to point out is the pricing page so this is probably not used on many sites where they have the toggle within the cards rather than having it here and the benefit of that is if you're on a mobile the nice thing about that is if you if you scroll you can toggle from monthly to yearly whereas other websites you have to go scroll back to the top and hit the toggle so I think this is a nice tiny thing that I think that goes unnoticed so hopefully you've enjoyed this video please leave a like let me know what you think in the comments subscribe and I'll see you in the next video